At Coin Plus in Florence, they have silver and gold pieces. So these are all $20 gold pieces. But for owner David Daly, the currency of COVID protection is the mask. Since the order came through, people seem to be more compliant. I really do. I think people are a little more compliant. They know ahead of time. Just next door at Soul Revival. Our customers have been pretty, pretty cool about it. Owner Justin Wade is seeing more people put their best foot forward to comply with the mask mandate, but knowing exactly what's legal is not that easy. Yeah, it's definitely been complicated. Last week, Governor Andy Bashir issued a mask mandate. A Scott County judge had already put a restraining order on the governor's executive orders. Now, the attorney general is asking the same judge if the mask order is specifically legal. So, what do, what do we have to do? It is pretty simple. Wear a facial covering. The governor in a briefing today again highlighting the importance of masks. The first question is, do we have a mask order? Well, the governor has definitely issued a mask order, um, and I would say the mask order is in effect right now for sure. NKU Chase College of Law professor Ken Katkin says while the mask mandate remains, if the Scott County judge strikes it down, it will only apply to that county but it will certainly go to a higher court. You know, I think we know that the Kentucky Supreme Court's gonna rule, but we don't really know how they're gonna rule. And I, I wouldn't take the, um, the lower court decision as being very predictive. For now, people left to sort through the legalities and the mask confusion. Yeah, and right now, even with that mask mandate in effect, there's no real enforcement. So even if people don't uh, hold to that mask mandate, there's no real consequences. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.